The bodies of 38-year-old Nicholas Newville, track coach at Calabar High School, and 19-year-old Rahima Edwards were found shortly after 6 Monday morning in an open lot off the Dyke Road. Investigators theorized that they were shot last night. While a motive has not yet been determined, the Calabar fraternity is reeling from the shock. Frontline News caught up with Principal Albert Karcho. He wasn't just a coach. He is... I mean, one of those youngsters who, you know, in addition to being coaching, he was a mentor for a number of our students, especially those who are involved in, in the track and field. Uh, we're saddened at this time, uh, it, you know, it came as a shock to us. Uh, I mean, not too sure what happened, but we are trying now to get some support for, for our young men, especially those who are involved in the track and field and the entire school fraternity, uh, to see how we can help to ease uh, the pain in relation to the loss of one of our own. The principal admitted that things were not okay at the school at this time, but he was confident that they would rebound soon. We're not doing well, but um, you know, I'm confident that you know, we have the support and a number of old boys, a number of my colleagues have actually reached out to me already. And of course, the ministry has just reached out to me to say that in whatever capacity that they can help. So we are currently um, organizing a, a, a way forward, I mean, probably for the next couple of days, to see how we can um, have some amount of help in terms of even our staff members. Because um, Nicholas, a lot of people know he wasn't just a coach, he interacted a lot with our, with our staff. He would take the the results from those boys were involved in the in the track and field and he will sit to the teachers and he will analyze and ensure you know that they do well so it's a great loss to us at this time i mean we are the entire population at calabar is grieving but i said we are going to be putting some plans in place i mean very quickly to, to provide the help that is needed um, for our stakeholders stevie and winter for frontline news